You know, that has a lot to do with what we're talking about too, Damon. What? You said, where the black men at? They ain't healthy. Well, well, yeah. I mean, (laughs) absolutely. (laughs) Absolutely. The Wayne Van Norton says, um, these politicians talk a good game when running, but when in office, things change. Yeah, that's politics, brother. But 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 the thing is, um, once you vote, vote voting. See see, nobody talks about it. Voting is voting is part of the political process, right? That's the you just. It's just not you just go and vote and then go to sleep for four years, yeah. And then you just go about your merry business for four years. No, you give your vote. Your 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 vote means something, right? Your vote is valuable, right? <laughs> Your 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 vote your vote is valuable. Um, Stephanie Swan says your body is your temple. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Your 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 vote is valuable. When you give somebody your vote, right? That vote gives you the obligation to hold that person uh, the the uh, uh, accountable. To, to hold that person accountable for your vote. Um, Dwayne also says you have to research these politicians. Absolutely right. It is it, that's, it, that's part of that's part of your vote, also. Is and that's really and we try to we try to make it easy for you too by presenting them and asking them the questions that y'all want to hear the answers to that y'all won't get that nobody else is gonna ask them. But y'all have to take this and and use this and make informed decisions afterwards. Absolutely. I mean, you should you should be when before you go to that election booth. Right. You should research every person that you're going to pull that level for. And, 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 and you and you don't have to pull the level for if you don't know who they are. Right. And, and I'm telling you, I'm telling people straight up, if you don't know who the hell that person is, you didn't read read their website. You didn't see a video of them on YouTube, Facebook. Instagram or whatever, you didn't see them in, in, a, in a debate or, or anything like that, then don't vote for them. You ain't obligated just to pull, just to put the circle on there just because they, they, they're they part of the party line. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You know, if you don't know who you're voting for, do not give them your damn vote. I mean, listen, if, if, if the vote, if your vote was a woman, she just don't open up her legs for anybody, right? Mm-hmm. You, gotta, you gotta be courted. You gotta be taken out. You gotta be taken to dinner to get your food, to get the cookies, right? That's the, it's the same way. That's the same. It's the same process, man. You don't give up your vote just to anybody. You protect it. Y'all women know what I'm talking about. You just don't be. I hope. I hope y'all ain't just sleeping around with anybody. You just, you know, you protect it just like you protect the stuff. And when you give it to the person, they deserve it, at least at that time. They deserve it. You have to think, you got to think like that. This is your vote. This is your vote. You just don't give it to anybody. You don't give it to anybody. Come on. Come on, people. Come on, black people. Um, That's the way absolutely. That- Hey Damon, here in Texas, they had at the voting polls that had seven machines for Dems and sixteen for Republicans. <laughs> Yo, man, Texas is just a whole nother planet. <laughs> <I can't laughs> Texas is Texas is just a whole nother planet, brother. I mean, Jesus Christ, man, they do they do things different in Texas. You know, I mean, we do some crazy stuff, but Texas, man, you know those Republicans. Yeah, I know when Obama was in, they they was trying to turn Texas blue. You know, they was working hard on it, but you know, whatever happened with that, um, it is what it is. But yo, know, man, y'all just don't give up your vote that easy, man. Just don't, you know. I you know, I know the tricks. You know, you walk to the voting booth and they give you a little palm card and they give you all the little faces and everybody to vote, and you don't even know who the hell they are. Wait, you but just, that's not. You know, you know how many, you know how many times oh, someone has come up to one of us three and go, "Who should I vote for?" 
I can't tell you who to vote for, brother or sister. <laughs> I'm I, I start telling people if you don't know who to vote for, then you shouldn't vote. You shouldn't vote. If you don't if if you don't know who to vote for, you shouldn't vote. Now, and, and, I don't and voting, I don't vote for people. If, if I don't shit, I stop giving up my vote. I don't know who the hell you are. You ain't getting my vote. Nope. Absolutely not. Now, you now thought you would say I voted for some damn Hillary Clinton? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. My vote is too precious just to give a, a vote for way to somebody that 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 called my children predators. Predators? Absolutely not. I'm not that forgiving with my vote. See, we need to start thinking, and this is and this is and this is not anti-Semitic. We need to start thinking like Jewish people. They vote in the block. They do a check off. What have you done for us lately? And they make you come see them. And exactly. You need to and you need to court them. You need to tell them what, what you need. They, you, the elected official candidates have to go to the Jewish community and be like, what do you want? What can I, we do for your vote? And I they know have to, because politics and, has told me. Right. So, our people just don't care about voting. Unfortunately, it's sad. Yeah, yeah it is. And that's why, the, and that's the why we get the results we get, because listen, your candidate needs votes to get into the office, and if y'all ain't gonna vote, I'm not gonna pay y'all no damn mind. I'm gonna pay attention to the people who voted, because you need the votes to get in. So, and if you got a group of people, you know the 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 the. the, the Black people have been blindly loyal to the Democratic Party that has not done anything for them in decades. And it does not matter. And they keep putting the same people back in office and they keep complaining about the results. And the, and the, and the definition of insanity is to continue to do the same thing over and over and expect a different result. Mm -hmm. But And we've had this conversation is not the first time. Not this, not the first election and the first time we've had this conversation, and it's not the first time this conversation has been had in the black and brown communities. But how many? But how many people get it? It is your right. responsibility, and voting is part one. After the elected official is in, then you have to engage with that elected official throughout the time that they're in office. You have to. You have to push them to do what's right, because there's going to be some stuff that need to be done that they're going to have to. They're going to have. They might want to do, but they might. They got other people they got to deal with. You have to put pressure on them. You have to make them do it. Now, anything that has been done for us as a people has never been done because it was the right thing to do. It's because people sacrificed. They protest. They fought. They fought to change legislation. Legislation. They 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 did something for it. They, they didn't just give it to us. We expect we're gonna just pull. Up. How many black people voted for Obama? Thought black people was gonna be straight from then, from that point on. Oh, we we good. We got a black president. It was rap songs made about the black president. Everybody was joking about we got a black president. Didn't stop well, the killing of black. Didn't stop the killing of black people from by by police. That didn't stop. Didn't stop a lot of the conditions. A lot of the conditions we're still facing. Yeah, yeah, you know. So, Ramapo School District is a prime example. Stephanie Swan, you are absolutely right. Yeah, absolutely. But you can't. You know what? But you can't be mad at them. You can't right. be. Look, you cannot be mad at anyone or any group who comes together. For their interests of their people, right? Yeah, I mean they are doing what they're supposed to do. <laughs> Stephanie whether says, whether or not we, whether we agree with their policy preferences, is one matter. But you are supposed to organize the members of your community in order to vocalize with the greatest force possible what your policy preferences are. Right. 
Right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, perhaps we should take a note from the playbook of other groups who may be a little bit more successful. But, well, hey, hey, listen, man, you know, mm -hmm. just like just like I said all the time is that, you know, we have to um, we, we, we have to have our, you know, we have to have our agenda. Like if you talk to a politician, like there's things you 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 should you should be asking, right? You, you should be asking one, um, what is their agenda to strengthen the black family? Two, what is their agenda to strengthen black businesses in, in their neighborhood? Three, what is their agenda on education of our of, of, of our black children, black curriculum? Four. What what is their what is their agenda on criminal justice reform in the criminal justice system? And five, what is their agenda to create more black employment? These are five simple questions that black people should ask their politicians before you vote. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science to do that. To ask, what is your positions on this? So when you go in that voting booth and you and you fill in that circle or you pull that lever, you actually know what you're voting for. It's not taboo to say what the what are you what are you gonna do for black people? It's not taboo. Because every other ethnic group does it. We're Absolutely. the only ones that don't, we're the only ones that don't do it. We're the only ones that don't do it. So 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 it's not taboo. Oh, we, should, we shouldn't be scared. Hey, hey, Cookie. Anita Fenner says, no, no, you can't. So maybe we need to figure out how to bring our people together. Well, we got to bring them together under agenda. That that that's 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 that that's going to um, be for everybody. You got to have an agenda. Um, Stephanie Swan said, "What do we think about the candidates running for Nia Lowy's congressional seat?" For